Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of The Witcher 3. We left off here last time, Kertroda Castle. Gonna report back to Krok for helping his children. And hopefully he'll give us something nice. Because those were two relatively long and difficult quests. Master Geralt. A guard spotted you from the tar. They sent me to open the git. Why was it closed? This that famous Skellige hospitality? Me. Tis tradition. After the feast, the Jarls will choose the king, so the doors must remain closed. Only the sons and daughters of Skellige may stay in the castle. Ah, but Geralt is not a son or daughter of Skellige, so I'm assuming Croc made an exception. Croc make an exception just for me? All know what you did for Ceres and Yalmar. Today, you're one of us. Come, Croc awaits. That's good to hear. All right. How's the mood in there? Calm. Too calm. How's that? We've an adage here at Skellige. At a good feast, meat and blood flow in equal measure. Surely you consider this barbaric on the continent, no? Not sure. Sounds preferable to dull banquets garnished with court intrigue. Step careful there. Need a good slopper? I've as much right to it as you do! And I'd expect you to support me, not pinch my allies. If an on crates to wear the crown, it... Should be you, because you've got fur growing on your chin, that it? Show some of your own, and the Jarls just might listen to you. Watch your mug smacked. Remember, I was left standing last time we crossed fists. <laughs> yeah? So you'll fight the Vilkards with me? Wonder who'll do better? You? Or Yalmar, the giant slayer? Oh, stop your shite boasting! I mean, hey, ah, damn it. to be fair, neither of them did their tasks on their own. Hjalmar didn't slay the giant for himself, and Ceres didn't uh, get rid of the Heim by herself. I mean, she probably could have, but she didn't. And Hjalmar, I don't think he would have had much chance against the ice giant. Yeah. Um, give me a second here, guys. My controller is being a little weird. That's the USB thing that you heard. Yep, right there as well. Um, I can't really get my recording software to not play those sounds, so don't freak out. Uh, it's not your computer, it's mine. <laughs> so, here we go again. Okay, come on. Yeah, there we go. Uh, lately, it's just, I don't know. Um, my, com my controller likes to just randomly disconnect and then reconnect itself for some reason. You may have heard like just USB sounds in the past in my videos, but they were very infrequent. Uh, but lately, it's just been happening like once every half hour or so. So if you hear those sounds, I will tell you that is from my end. So you know it's not your end. If you're using like a, a Mac or, or a different operating system, then you probably won't hear that sound. But for most of you guys, I'm assuming you use Windows, you will hear those sounds. Don't don't worry about it too much. Uh, well, let's uh, talk to Hjalmar a little bit here, shall we? Bad way to play it out. I think I don't know that. But you saw her. She's so... So... Why, well, stubborn, fierce, mule-headed, refuses to listen to anyone. Exactly! <laughs> 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 True, Arnvald. Me and Cyrus were near twins in that regard. Yes, Yomar, you're not very different from her, actually. Except, um, I don't know how good Cyrus is with a sword. I don't think she's ever demonstrated her um, combat prowess, but... Hjalmar is okay, so I don't know if that makes him any more or less worthy to be a leader, but um, ultimately, it's our decision. Um, a little bit maybe into this episode. Uh, let's ask about Croc. Don't see Croc. He talking to the Jarls? No, went to his chambers. To prepare your promised reward, no doubt. If you've a spell witch, or perhaps you'd fancy some fisticuffs with the Vilkarls. Loosen up your joints after your journey. Maybe later. Oh, I know who the old Carls are. They are pretty tough. Here they are, actually. There are a few of them. Uh, one, two, three, four. Is that one as well? Yeah, there's another one. Um, sure. Let's <laughs> let's do a little fist fighting. Yalmar, can you? Ooh. Seal shit. Seal. 
I suppose that's that is what you would say here in Skellige. Take a look. Still got all my teeth? Most of them did quite a number on you. Why are you laughing? They'd have trashed you too. <laughs> Doubt it. That's so. Care to wager on it? Drop any one of the Vild Carls, and I'll give you my sword. End up like me, you part with yours. This is actually a very risky little, I don't, it's not really a side quest, it's just an event that you can partake in. And uh, yeah, when Hjalmar uh, made that wager, he is not bluffing. Um, if we lose, we actually lose one of our swords. I don't remember if it was the silver or the steel sword we lost. I think it's the uh, the silver. No, maybe it's, I don't, I don't know. It's, it's one or the other. You don't lose both of them. But uh, if you do lose this fist fight, yes, you will have to part with... Uh, one of your swords, and it's not pretty. On the other hand, if you win, Hyomar gives you his, which is kind of an underwhelming weapon in the vanilla Witcher 3. I don't know about uh, this mod, we'll have to see. Uh, yes, we're definitely going to take them on, but let's ask about who they are first. Filled Carls, who are they? Ah, uh, these wild men. Live in the hills. Shepherds, then? Aye, without the sheep. They live off killing, eat only what they hunt, and they fight like no one else. Oh shoot, give me a second. Okay, I'm back. I'm telling you, man, I don't receive a lot of phone calls. I don't even receive a lot of text messages, but it seems like every single time I do is when I'm recording. It's crazy how big of a coincidence, I don't know, like it's it's just weird. Anyways, let's do this this fight and hopefully I win because if I lose, uh, I don't want to give up my iris. You're on. Start wrapping that sword for me. Don't sell your fish till they're in the boat, wolf. <laughs> Heard you're taking on challengers in fist fights. Challengers? Ah, nay. Ain't none a challenge to us. Ooh. We're here to hit. Hit till our fists are red with blood. Let's do this. Gladly. Big words, but uh, I mean, okay. I don't. I don't want to like. Don't be too confident. We have lost to these fist fights before. Um, there are certain opponents that are just like super tough. Because uh, you see those really fast punches that he pulls there? Yeah, those are very hard to counter. And you have to get the timing exactly right or you just take a hit. But there we go. Wasn't too bad. Ah, you had good. Hard. Hand me that sword. Oh, what a fight. Smacked his gob so hard it's a wonder his brain didn't fly out of his ears. <laughs> well, lost the wager. But that was such a spectacle, I don't even mind. Here, may it serve you well. Okay, there it is. Yalmar's Steel Sword. Um, hopefully it's a little bit better than what it is in vanilla because this weapon is pretty awful for just like a unique weapon in this game uh, oh, I think that's no nope, that's not even it damn it that's uh wait when did we pick this up huh interesting all right um here it is savage Tiomar's steel sword yeah it's not that great look at that damage it's so weak 651 maximum it's got some armor piercing and, it, and then it's got like minus 14 percent attack power <laughs> Yeah, that is a woefully underwhelming weapon. Um, we have this other one here called Overpowering Red Meteorite Silver Sword. Mm, okay. Uh, Princess Xenthia Sword. I don't even remember picking this up. Let me take a look at this one. Um, would it be a steel weapon? Let's see. There it is. Yep. Yeah. Uh, 705 damage. It's better than Hjalmar's sword. Within half a second after a fast attack, you're granted a free dodge with reduced graze damage. That's okay. That's like really good for kind of the defensive playstyle, but the um, the technique where I just attack and then dodge away, that one, I usually use strong attack, and um, this only works after a fast attack, which, you know, it's, um, yeah, it can still dish out a little bit of damage if the enemy is attacking super quickly, but otherwise, this is not, like, the best weapon. It does have 15% chance to poison, though, and bleed. Hmm. With an increased attack speed, it's actually not bad. It it doesn't hold a candle to the iris, obviously, but it's um it's worth it. Whoa! <laughs> this woman just slid backwards. That's kind of interesting. Okay, 
Let's keep going. Uh, ooh, can I lose that basket? <laughs> There's this like little wolf here, eating something on the ground. Excuse me, Steingrim. I just want to move here. <laughs> Alright, looks like I can grab some food. Ooh, we got some bread and some Beauclair white. Yeah, a lot of people talking over each other. This guy, by the way, um, he is a unique character in the game, and we don't actually see him. I, I believe his name is Drake Bondu, um, and you don't really get to see him a whole lot in this game, but doesn't he look like Geralt a little bit? At least the white hair part, right? <laughs> he just kind of looks like Geralt playing a loot. Kind of cool. But, yeah, I don't even think he has that many lines in this game. He just plays the loot, and he has a name, and in fact the game doesn't even tell you he has a name, but I know it is Drake Mondu. Um, or some something similar to that, it's been it's been a while since uh, I actually played that card in the, the online Gwent game, he is a card, and yeah, he is, he is a card for some reason. <laughs> Alright, anything else I can loot around here? Ooh, I don't think I can pass through this door. Oh, I can! Respect. All right, that's kind of random because there's nothing we can do out here. Um. All right. Let's go this way. Meet Croc. Greetings, Berna. Feast not to your liking. This is no feast. It's a farmer's market where votes are bought and sold like sheepskins. Oh my. So Svanriga is Berna's son, and also Bran's son, um, Bran the, uh, the former king of Skellige. Svanriga is not gonna vie for support. Bran's son will not haggle for a crown that is his by right. Far as I know, crown goes to the claimant who gains the most votes. That is the tradition, but not all traditions are good. The Isle's care should be entrusted to a single family. You know, I would argue, like just for the other side because giving power to someone who doesn't deserve it you know just because you're part of the bloodline um just doesn't doesn't seem right and also the fact that it doesn't it, it doesn't work like that in Skellige in this kind of medieval setting is quite surprising because as far as I know uh, most traditions in most cultures in the real world work off of you know you have one single family lineage and whoever gets born into that family becomes next the next in line for royalty, right? There's no way that a peasant living on the street, no matter how good his deeds are, is going to become the next king because or king or emperor, because um, you know he's never going to get recognized. And even if he does, you know it it doesn't matter because uh, the people who have the right blood in their veins um, gets to decide. So it's not it's not a perfect way to do it, but I mean obviously, <laughs> but. Um, that's just how it is in uh, in the real world back then. And uh, this being the Witcher world, I mean, it does happen in kind of the 13th century. Um, and it is, I don't want to say it's relatively like accurate to the 13th century because I don't know what it was like back then. It was like seven, eight hundred years ago, right? So I, I don't, I don't know much about um, world history, but... Um, the fact that Skellige works off of, you know, choosing a king based on king or queen based on his or her deeds, that's pretty good. It's pretty ahead of its time. Take it you have a specific family in mind. Of course. Bran was the best king Skellige's seen in centuries. The throne should pass on to Svanriga, his true born son, and then on to his sons. Yeah, I don't know how many people was going to agree with that, but um, eh, you, you do you. What's wrong with voting for your king? Take a walk. Listen and you'll understand. The claimants already hand out land, promise privileges, titles, favorable judgments. They behave like whores lifting their skirts for every passerby. A king by the grace of votes is no ruler, but a debtor. This must end. We must start by placing Bran's firstborn son on the throne. I hope the Yarns will see the wisdom of it. <laughs> okay, it's interesting to see her argue for the side of um, non-tradition here in Skellige where you're supposed to have this royal bloodline because there re isn't really that much to argue for on that side whereas uh, <laughs> whereas 
a king who has been voted for in terms of a democracy, it's it just makes so much more sense. So her argument, you know, it doesn't doesn't really hold too much water. Leaving Kertrolda. Tomorrow at daybreak. Enjoy yourself, Master Geralt. Okay. So she's gone. May I? You must even come. I've been waiting for you. So, feast to your liking. Any better than your continental balls? Definitely more to drink. Ah, <laughs> there is. Rolled all of it out of my cellars. Double meads, triple, Cintrian plum brandy, Mahakamum spirit that burns the mouth like boiling water. Clan on crate knows the meaning of hospitality. And hospitality equals alcohol. Hmm, that's nice. Something tells me there's a purpose to your hospitality. Aye, there is. In the Isles, mead and mead stand to gain you as much support as feats accomplished blade in hand. If that's true, you can rest easy about how the vote will turn out. I'll rest easy on the morrow, when the crown rests on one of my children's heads. Yeah, it is destined to be on one of his children's. Hmm. I mean, um, I think I've explained this before, but it is possible for this... This is a side quest, by the way, just a very involved one. Uh, it is possible that by the end of the side quest, Neither Ceres nor Hjalmar becomes uh, the ruler, but instead Svanruge does, so that's uh, Berna's son. So yeah, that's in the case that you don't do either of those two side quests um, that Tikrok gave you. It's very unlikely because they're just right there in your face. You know, if you're exploring Skellige, there's kind of no way that you'll miss them. Uh, but if you purposely go out of your way to not do them, then at the end of the whole Skellige questline, Svanrige becomes the ruler, and you can kind of see it as a bad ending, even though he doesn't do anything, like, too outlandish. Uh, it's just the thought of someone like Berna um, being the, the queen mother and controlling every one of her, her son's actions. Uh, you know, that has never really ended well. Um, I'm thinking in particular about uh, Game of Thrones. You know, like, that's... That, that didn't end up well for either the king nor the mother. Although, huh, I guess she did survive for a very long time, did she? Didn't she? <laughs> anyway, that's a little off topic. Um, what about you, Croc? You want to choose between one of your children? Feeling torn between Yalmar and Ceres? You mean, do I have a favorite? Nay, <laughs> they're as different as fire and water. But on great blood flows in both. It's interesting that he brings that up because just five minutes ago we were just saying how Hjalmar and Ceres are very similar in the fact that they're like both stubborn and they both um, argue a lot and they're very fierce. Um, but yet Croc says they are completely different people and they kind of are on the way they do things, not their personalities. Yeah, their personalities is, are very similar, but uh, the way they like to handle, um, I guess, political affairs, uh, yeah, pretty different. Between you and me, Yalmar's not too hot-headed to be king. Depends on the kind of king you have in mind. Want one who'll send emissaries, move figurines about a map, calculate the most profitable option? And yes, he's too hot-headed. But Skellige wants a different ruler, the kind who'll drown Nilfgaard in blood. Sooner jump into a fire than surrender. And that is Yalmar. If you escalate your attacks, you stand to infuriate Amir. Could regret it someday. In Skellige, we spit on the notion of peace at any cost. Ooh, so Croc uh, is a man of tradition. He he wants what's best for what their people want in the short term. Um, but uh, the, the whole thing about peace at any cost, that's more about displeasing your people now but being better for your nation in the long run, you know, which is the proper way to do things. I, I don't think, actually, no, I don't want to talk about United States politics right now. I just, yeah, but um, I would just say it's certainly not like that with the way um, the whole election cycle works in the United States. Uh, anyway, what about Ceres? 
Think the Council of Jarls will dare to put a woman on the throne? If you'd asked me some months ago, I'd have laughed in your face. But today I see, and I'm not alone, that Ceres has something as rare on the Isles as a hot summer. Patience. Others act, then think. She's different. She thinks things through, the for, the against. But once she takes action, not a force in the world could stop her. Yeah, and there we see the dichotomy of Ceres and Hjalmar, you know. The, the one where you take action right now to please your people versus, you know, not exactly doing what your people want, but way better for them in the long run, you know, to to be diplomatic with Nilfgaard and not to just get into a full-on war with them immediately. It's the, it's the peaceful protest kind of um, option, even though it's not really a protest, it's more a, um, a debate or a just, um, you know, diplomacy. <laughs> it's not full-on war so obviously if <clears throat> excuse me obviously if you think about it in our kind of real life modern situation uh Ceres as a ruler is just kind of objectively better right it just works out much better for humanity and you know for, for Skellige in particular but you have to think of also think about what uh, what is proper what is correct for this kind of witcher 3 setting and i haven't really decided whether or not uh, whether i want to go with uh, the hjalmar choice or the Ceres choice that choice will be presented to us very shortly um because apparently even though this is a vote um i guess half of exactly half of skellige votes for either one of them and Geralt is the one that decides it all right so <laughs> i guess that's that's just how it is um so yeah the, that choice will entirely land on our shoulders Ah, oh, man, on the one hand, like, the Ceres ruler path is just so much more peaceful, and, um, it's not exactly more lore-friendly, because Ceres is not re even really a figure uh, in terms of, you know, the Witcher, the Witcher lore, but it does turn out a bit better, whereas the Hjalmar path, I think the Hjalmar path has a way more interesting quest. Um, I don't, if, for those of you guys who have played the game only once, you probably went with a Sarah's path because it just makes so much more sense. So you probably haven't seen the whole Hjalmar path, which makes me want to go for it because um, I, I think uh, the, the the quest that you embark on with Hjalmar is just it's tears more interesting than the one with Sarah's. Uh, that's a that's a hard choice. That's my USB again. As I said, it just happens once in a while, and it's really annoying. But hopefully. Uh, you guys don't mind it too much. Okay, uh, I will think about that for a little while. In the meantime, let's grab this reward. Oh my god, my controller disconnected again. Give me one second here, guys. Okay, here we go. Uh, I want to say I, I, I want to find a way to fix it, but I have tried, and it doesn't really, doesn't really help. I'm going to have to either get a new... I don't think it's my controller's problem. It might be my USB port's problem. Hm, who knows? All right, Croc, about that reward promised me a reward for helping your children. And I aim to keep my word. Here. This bauble's been in the family for generations. I give it to you for helping ensure the line endures. You look at that. Thanks. I'm the one. Hear that? Damn it! Yalmar's probably started another row. That's not Yalmar. Let's go. Uh oh. Something's going on. As it always does during these big feasts. Oh no, Drake! Oh, there he goes. Damn! He did not die a warrior's death. I mean, he is not a warrior, but hey. All right, so we're gonna have to fight some bears here, and oh, that is not doing any damage. We have to use a silver weapon. There we go. Yeah, I guess the game pulled the silver weapon out for a reason. Let's see if Igni will affect it. Yep, it's just like any other bear, really, except this one... I don't know if it's my weapon just being a lot weaker, but he definitely has a whole lot more health than a regular bear. But, um, yeah, we should be able to... What the heck? Uh, okay. <laughs> Pressing the wrong buttons. 
yes. How long you gonna make me playing other games while playing The Witcher 3 Enhanced Edition. Not a great idea because... Um, get my buttons mixed up. Looks uh, like Croc is tanking pretty well. Oh, shoot. Okay. Maybe I should parry some of his attacks instead. Yep. And not just eat him in the face. Let's use a Quen. Just to be on the safe side. Okay. That's one of them dead. There's another one over here. Let's just put down the Yurden. It is very good passive damage. Oh, look at Yomar using an axe. Uh, no, a spear. Because we took his sword. Uh, I feel kind of bad about that because it's not even a great sword. If the if the game had an option for me to refuse his weapon, I probably would have because, you know. Uh, who knows how long that weapon has been in his hands and he probably likes it a lot. And yet we just took it and it's just going to sit inside our... It's probably going to be sold off to a merchant, which just feels really bad, right? <laughs> it's like... Here, take my weapon. I've treasured it for many, many years, and then you just sell it to a merchant. <laughs> it just feels terrible. Okay. Come on, come closer. I'm glad there are so many people fighting this thing because this is a stronger bear than we're used to. Not stronger, but definitely more durable. Oh my god. Ah, give me a second here, guys. Okay, phone on silent. You will no longer hear anything during this session. Ugh. Okay. One more bear over there. Oh, get out of the way, Lugos. That is Lugos, right? <laughs> and the fact that we have to use a silver weapon to kill these bears. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty telling about what they are. Because they are definitely not normal bears. Let me tell you that. What? Lost your nerve? Alright. Normally I would be a bit more careful with these guys, uh, but because how many people we have here and just, you know, how relatively safe we are with the Quen Shield, it should be okay. There we go. Let's see if they drop any loot. Nope, they do not. Well, at least Donar is safe. Um, can't say the same about Give others. Some cloth. Gotta stop the bleeding. Quick! Da. Da. Take my cloak. Looks like Hogar's son is not going to survive much longer. A shot grabbed my leg once. Albion! He's dead. Crack! Where'd those bears come from, huh? Answer! Now! Careful how you speak to my dad. Stow your blade, pup, or Crack will lose a son too. You insult me, Lugos, and now you threaten my son. I will not stand for this. Dad, come here. Come on! Put you down like a rabid dog. Calm down. Calm down. Enough blood's been spilt. Someone brought these beasts here to murder our sons and brothers. We cannot restore their lives. But we can, we must avenge them. This burden falls upon the host and his offspring. Find the guilty on crate. Find and kill them, else your clan will be cursed for a hundred generations to come. Not a great time to be fighting amongst yourselves. Okay. Damn it. Things have sure gotten messy. That's putting it mildly. We've clues to examine, things to consider. We must find out how this came to be, elsewise we... We've no time for that. I know where to find the guilty. Wait? Are you mad? You're gonna kill folk before we've learned what happened. Learn all you want. Meantime, I'll go wash the shame off our clan. Hey, the Yarls aren't listening anymore. Stop playing the hero and think for a second. Our honor's at stake, sis. That can't wait. 
Are you listening to me? Someone let those bears in. We must know who, and the answer lies somewhere in this room. Oh boy. Okay, so here is where we are making that pivotal decision on who is going to become the next ruler of Skellige. Cyrus, Hjalmar, and I guess we just don't care and let it be. Yeah, that's the that is the worst option and we're not gonna go with that one. Uh okay, let me try to rationalize this. Um Cyrus is better for the state of the game. Uh she um yeah, with this option, the person who is responsible for this kind of massacre is brought to justice. And she becomes the ruler of Skellige, and, you know, she's much more diplomatic than Hyomar. And just better for Skellige in the long run. Maybe not in the short run, because people are going to rebel um, from her choices. But uh, in the long run, she's probably going to make Skellige uh, a better place to live. Yalmar, uh, if we go this path, we get a much more interesting side quest. But um, at the end of it all, we don't really find anything. Like, I mean, the person who is responsible for the, all, this, all of this killing, not brought to justice. But we kind of, like, get at the root of the bear attack, right? So we um, we find out, like, what's up with the bears, and we, um, we kind of solve that problem. But the person who instigated the entire issue... Yeah, we don't we don't really get to see any of that. And then Hyomar becomes ruler. Um, he's going to conduct raids and stuff, just like the Skelligers do. And people are going to love him because you know that's uh, that's what the people of Skellige here uh, love to do. So there's that. So some of you are not going to like the decision that I'm going to make. Uh, I think I've come to a decision here, and we're going to go with the Hyomar path. And this is because I think Cirrus is the it's a much, much more popular choice. Like, for anyone playing this game for the first time, myself included, you're going to go with the Zero Path. It, ma it makes so much more sense to try to figure out who, who caused this whole situation instead of just going kind of hot-blooded, blindly, into who you think could have caused it and then just try to kill them, right? That's, like, I mean, um, doing that, it may pay off, but uh, if it doesn't, then the backlash is just going to hurt you a lot. Um, so... We're going to go with Hjalmar, and uh, for some of you guys, it's going to be something new. If you have played this path, you would know that it is very different <laughs> from the from the Cirrus one. So, let's do it, Hjalmar. I'm going with Hjalmar. Don't know where, but I'm going. Knew you'd not turn down an adventure. I'll stay here. Someone must see to everything. Summon the healer, hand the fallen over to their families. Wolf, I thank you. We ride to Fornhalla. Out of Gallop. Fornhalla. Okay, here we go. Honestly, in terms of the yeah, in terms of the quest, uh, the little investigation that you have to conduct with either Hyalmar or Cirrus, um, the Hyalmar just it just beats the other one outright. It's so much more interesting. There's more combat involved as well. So, if you will, the Cirrus right. path is more about. The meaning. Um, Can I explain what we're doing or not? Remember the wild men I sparred with? The ones we called Vilkarls? You might have mentioned them when I walked in. This is Fornhalla, their village. They were the ones who changed into bears, just like in the legends about berserkers. I saw it with my own eyes. Might have been alone in that. Everyone else was staring at young Lugos. He claimed he could down a barrel of beer in one go. Almost did it too. A barrel in one go. Wow, that's very impressive, huh? So, as I was saying, the Serith Pass is much more about the investigation aspect of being a Witcher, and the Hyalmar Path is more about the combat um, path of being a Witcher. Yeah, because um, those two kind of go hand in hand, right? With all of our Witcher contracts, we investigate the monster first, and then we kill it in, in combat. Uh, so for these two paths, yeah, we're kind of splitting um, one and the other. Investigation, combat. So, I wonder if Yomar would have been so um, hot-headed if he hadn't been punched in the face by one of them. Because he seems a little angry at <laughs> at the build cars here because, you know, one of them just kind of sucker-punched him when he, when he wasn't really paying attention. So, 
If he hadn't been punched in the face, would he be here? That's an interesting thing to think about. Build Carls. What else do you know about them? They're not part of any clan. They've no wives nor children. So how do they reproduce? By budding? No. Those wishing to devote their lives to battle come here to join them. In the summertime they hunt, go on raids. Come winter they sleep in their caves, with the bears. At least that's what folks say. Got a feeling it's more than gossip. Hmm. Why not speak up right away, back there in front of everyone? Cause they'd have started talking, questioning and quarreling. Words won't wipe the shame from my clan, only deeds will. Okay, so what now? So what now? Simple. We welcomed the Vildkarls under our roof, gave them food, drink, and they spilled our blood. So now they must pay in blood. Hmm, interesting. But isn't it better to take one of them alive? Should at least take one alive, make him testify before. This ain't the continent, Witcher. Don't need no court to see justice done. Ah, uh, yes, of to course. Consider that somebody might have duped them, used them. Then they'll die for being idiots. Enough jabbering already. Let's go. Ooh, that's some quick wit. They'll die for being idiots. I like that. No one here. Ran away. Knew I'd come for them. Odd. From what you said, don't sound like the type to lack courage. Let's look around. Could be nearby. We have been here before, look, by the way. Up there. A corpse by my reckoning. Mm hmm Needs examining. Yep. This is a little abandoned village here. Uh, we have explored this place, but obviously, because this quest wasn't active, um, we didn't get anything out of that. Oh, look at that. Negotiator. Just inside this random treasure chest. Really? Alright, let's check out what it does. Okay. Let's see... Silver Sword. I, I usually get these wrong, but... Ah, there we go. Two in a row. I got it with the Princess Zenthia Sword, and I got it with the Negotiator. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, 829 damage. It has 80 shock damage, which is interesting. Uh, armor piercing attack speed. Very good in terms of stats, but I lose 25% sign intensity. That, in and by itself, is a deal breaker. Because I love casting signs too much, and losing a quarter of my total sign intensity, that's not going to fly with me. But the stats on that weapon is pretty fantastic. No women's clothing, items, no toys. Told you, only men live in Fornhalla. Won't be anyone to mourn them. Yeah, and they reproduce by budding. Let's see what this is. Spiked gloves, black with dried blood. Hmm. Okay. Let's see what's inside this one. Ochre, coal dust, woad, tattoo dyes. No idea what any of those things are except for tattoo dyes. And in fact, I don't even know what a tattoo dye is. I thought tattoos are done by just like piercing your skin or something. Anyway, what's inside this one? Oh, oh god, I shouldn't have even picked that up. Uh... Okay, um, yeah, let's head this way. Fell to his death. Think I even know where from. See that ledge? Mm-hmm. This one here doesn't look like a Vildkarl to me. Aye, true. More slender in the shoulders, no tattoos. Interesting. Hmm, well, this place is interesting. Candle is still lit. Fire still there. With like food cooking there as well. Huh. Interesting. But nothing to examine. Okay. A lot of nice little chests to loot. Uh, I'm not going to take that. Waste of inventory space. And this one also some food cooking. Um, but nothing else of interest it looks like. Okay. Let's head up to that ledge. Ooh. Follow the thread. A lot of bloody footprints. Let's see where they came from. 
Oh, before that, take a look at this little ledge here. Uh, oh, it's, it's down there, actually. A Skellige custom I don't know about. If it is, it's new to me as well. Hmm. The Veiled Cars do um, do things very differently from your traditional Skelligers. Clothing from six men. Just one body, though. An old shrine covered in runes. I know the signs. Language of our forefathers. Svalblood. Damn it. What is it? That a name? Aye. A deity whose worship is banned. All altars devoted to him were raised years ago. Priests stolen and were bound. Tossed into sailless longboats that were pushed out to sea. Hmm. Interesting. So it's kind of like the devil that you're not supposed to worship. What did this deity do to earn condemnation? Him? Nothing. But those who promised him almost drowned Skellige in blood. You see, Svalblood demanded sacrifices. Human sacrifices. Sword of the Ready Witcher. Strange smell. Bit like incense. Bit like a bait we witchers use. For what? Bears. Crikey. You've a sniffer like a hound's. Better. Follow me. Haha. <laughs> better than a hound's. Okay, but probably not better than a bear, right? Some of you might not know this, but the Bloodhound is not does not have the most sensitive nose um, on Earth. That honor belongs to the. Uh, it's a type of bear that uh, can sniff things from I don't know, like twenty miles away. It's crazy. Body covered in bruises, knuckles chafed raw. Fought barefisted, to the death. Some kind of trial, probably, or a very bloody sport. Oh God. I hope it's not a sport. I actually hope it's not a trial either. However, he died. Uh, can I examine some of these bowls of incense? Nope. Okay. Follow the scent then. Ah, all leads back to this house. Blood mixed with bile. Look, someone walked through it. Tracks lead uphill. Wounds covering the body, but he didn't bleed to death. Someone broke his neck, finished him. What the hell's going on here? Don't matter. Body's still warm, they're close. Come on! Okay, something tells me they're gonna be in that, inside this house. Let's see. Dried mushrooms. Silasib, I think. Geralt, finish up your ferritin already. Silasib. Okay, and a little bit of trivia. Trivia. That is the continental word for one of the Skelliger uh, mushrooms called marjoram. And uh, as we will soon discover, marjoram is a hallucinogen that actually makes people uh, do very ferocious things. Okay, so it turns out they're not inside this house. Let's follow these footprints. Um, oh, check this house. Is this even a house? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> All right. And probably not up there. Huh. Where am I supposed to go here? Hold on. Yeah, we'll just follow these footprints. They will lead us to where we need to go, I'm hoping. Here we go. This is the only house that we still haven't explored. Spiked gloves. Black with dried blood. Oh, more of that. Uh, more of that marjoram mushroom hanging up there. Anything else around here? Dried mushrooms. Hmm. Nope. Saw the side, I think. Geralt, finish up your ferritin already. Yeah, yeah, Hjalmar. You call it ferritin, I call it witchering. Human scalps. Unusual as decorations go. Ew. Really? Ugh. Why am I still look- Oh, God. Human scalp- Wow. No thank you. Alright. Let's flip open this tarp. Come on. <laughs> I know there's something here. All the signs are pointing towards it. Under a bearskin rug. Classic. 
Come on, open it. Ooh, sorry about that. Got another phone call. <laughs> crazy. Uh, but look at this place. So crazy. It's like some kind of um, a ritual cave. Let's see what's going to happen down here. Looking for death? Nay, vengeance! And answers. Why do you attack Kertrolde? We didn't come to the feast to kill, but we've no regrets about what happened there. There are weaklings in every herd. They must die to make room for those of strong blood. Oh, jeez. Yeah, like those people we found? Like the men whose corpses we found. Aye. Those who wish to join us enter the Earth Science Circle in groups of six. We take only three. The weak give their lives in sacrifice. The strong start their lives anew. Hmm. I don't think I can get on board with that. Strong blood. What are you talking about? I speak of the she-bear and her cub. We've talked enough. Good. Talking tires me. Oh boy, here we go. Holgrim. He's holding an axe, which means his attacks are probably harder to parry. Um, but um, with Hjalmar's help, this should be okay. Oh god, he has no haste. <laughs> he has no health. But he does have that trick up his sleeve. The good old transform into a bear. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Watch out, Hjalmar. This guy is not kidding around. So we're probably going to need to be using a silver weapon. No, not our bare fists. <laughs> um, silver weapon for this one because, yeah, just like the uh, the bears that we fought back in Kertrode, this guy is going to be a magical enemy. Ah, uh, okay. At least I got my... I got my uh, Yurden trap to work. Ugh, I need to be careful with those. Gotta remember how to actually fight a bear, you know? It's been a while since uh, we fought one of these. Actually, no, we, we, we fought a couple of polar bears here in Skellige, but not actual, like, brown bears. Um, usually, what I would do is I would circle it, kind of just, like, on its right side, on its left side. But because Hjalmar is also here, um, its attention will not 100% of the time be on us. Even though that is that is the case right now. Um, gotta change up our strategy a little bit. Okay, well, that's that bear dead. Well, won't get anything else out of him. We don't need to. Everything's clear, blood for blood. Oh, jeez. Well, your vengeance, your rules. Let's just say that. Don't make him more upset than he is. Your vengeance, your rules. Voices. More of them further on. I'm counting on it. Let's go! This Holgrim guy did mention something about a uh, female bear and her cub, though. Yeah. Seems like they are at, uh, at the core of it all. Um, I think we can all kind of uh, intuit who that would be. Uh, do I have any drinks here? Sure. Let's just... Drink some uh, wine, white wine. Get our health back, maybe save the game. Let's keep going. This cave is just like, it's so magical. Oh boy, performing the blood ritual. And these are the three veiled cars that were inside the castle, aren't they? Or just three who really looked like them. Eat. 
eating some shrooms. Oh my god, this music is so crazy. Svalblood! Svalblood! We summon thy power! What the hell did we just witness? Well, one thing is clear though. It's not that the Wild Card can transform into a bear, it's that the bear has gained the power of the Wild Card and can transform into a human. So yeah, those, those guys, those three guys that were there who ate the mushrooms, they're dead. It, uh, the bears who ate them have gained their power and now are able to transform into humans. The truth comes to light. Although there's a whole secret uh, mystery behind the whole Svalblood and Berserker transformations that uh, I don't think we'll ever find out. Kind of crazy what's happening here. All right. Our forebears forbade all from worshiping Svalblood on pain of death. What? Where'd you? From Caretrolder. Let you know why we're here. Aye. On a matter that's not to you, mutant. A matter of pride and honor. There's no pride in this ritual. Didn't see any honor in what happened at Crack's castle. That was a massacre, plain and simple. You see in darkness, you're still blind. We spilled that blood for Skellige. For a king we can be proud of. Don't give a damn about your motivations. Give me a name. I'd sooner die than tell you. Oh boy, here we go. Alright, this is our uh, mage artist. Oh, wow, he has no health. Yelmar is all yours. <laughs> oh wow. Damn, that guy was really underwhelming. I thought he would have more health. I mean, if you look at his attacking patterns, um, very similar to, or kind of slightly similar to um, that one battle priest, a battle maze that we fought at the beginning of the Hearts and Stone DLC, way, way back at the beginning of the game. Um, I was hoping he would be a bit more challenging than that, but it doesn't look like he had a whole lot of health. All right, so now that uh, the priest is dead, we can turn our attention to some of the bears. Let's put down the Yurden trap here, um, and just yeah, handle this guy like we usually do. Actually. Should be able to just carry those attack. Oh, never mind. That's a little slow there. Time to end this. Ah, damn it. <laughs> really bad at fighting bears all of a sudden. Okay. Any more of you? Where are the other two? Not afraid to die. Gotta give them up. A letter. Turns out the Vildkarls, unwitting tools. This druid, Artis, was to be the new king's advisor. Cheap reward for sicking the Vildkarls on your guests, causing all that bloodshed. Who signed it? Nobody. Anonymous. You were right. There's someone else behind it all. All the mayhem. Hmm, I mean... <laughs> All right, if it wasn't already extremely obvious, the whole clues about the female bear and her cub, the fact that Artis was going to be the king's new advisor, um, 
you know the fact that it's all anonymous and secrecy and um also uh, the fact that Berna Brand does not like the current tradition of Skellige and wants to turn things around yeah it should be it should be very obvious who the real perpetrator is let's ask Yalmar if he has any idea suspect anyone I know many who crave the crown but none who'd stoop so low to get it whoever it is they could strike again then I'll be on my guard okay what now I'll tell the Jarls what we found here Hope it's enough to clear the clan's name. Come on, we're done here. Okay. Uh, we are automatically uh, teleported out of this wall, <laughs> brought back out of out of that cave, and I have gone back in there. Uh, actually, I don't even think you can go back in there. But uh, let's just yeah. Even if you could, the dude that we killed, he doesn't drop any loot, so. Pretty sure it's not possible to go back into that cave. It was them attacked us, the Veiled Carls. Will you claim they turned into bears? That they're the berserkers our nanny scared us with as children? Is that it? I saw them transform with my own eyes. Did you see Freya ride by astride a wild boar as well? You've discovered as much as your sister. That's to say, nothing. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, we can vouch for what Hjalmar said, but I think action speaks louder than words. Send men to Fornhalla, then you'll believe. Mean there. A shabby village, a few huts. What's there of interest? A temple. It is vile blood. Go on, Hjalmar. What about? I found the traitors, wrought vengeance on them. That's everything. No, not everything. The Vildkarls conspired with someone. Found a letter on one of their corpses. Oh, she's getting nervous. Big. This does not identify the guilty party. That's not why we've gathered. You washed away disgrace with the blood of our foes, Yalmar. I, eldest among the Jarls, cleanse your clan's name. We part in peace. Hmm. Yeah, so we don't catch the real perp. But hey, in the end it worked out. So it is true. Warriors have become bears. I'd say it's the opposite. I saw their transformative ritual. Our trial of the grasses. Pure pleasure by comparison. The vil cards have been punished. You and Yalma saw to that. But our true foe continues to prowl about. I sense hard times ahead for Skellige. But enough. Whatever comes, we must endure. I thank you, Geralt. Again? No need. Again. I'll not take any more of this modesty. This is a land of heroes. Let this remind you of that. And now, I must ride for Gedinath. For the Jarl's council, time to pick a king. What do you think? Who'll get the nod? Come with me. See for yourself. All may listen to our deliberations. Okay, great. Oh, look at that. New crossbow, death from above. Okay, yeah, I will. I will join him, but not right now. I will join you later. Might join you later. Counting on it, as are my children. All right, and that's the end of this quest, King's Gambit. And we get a new quest, Coronation. Yeah, so that's where a new ruler will be crowned in Skellige. Okay, that's uh, that's cool. All right, so we actually haven't had time to, or I forgot to check out the weapon that uh, Croc gave us earlier called Fate. Here it is, it's a silver sword, which I very much enjoy. Although, hmm. Uh, with the current situation of uh, Witcher sets, we we always have to use one of either the Silver or the Steel Sword for that particular Witcher set to, to get the set bonus. Unfortunately, the Crossword doesn't count. I don't know if it's been patched. Maybe maybe I'll take a look at it later to see if that's been patched. Um, so we won't be able to use a unique Silver and a unique Steel Sword at the same time. But this guy right here, 50 Frost Damage, Armor Piercing, negative Attack Speed. Uh, it's got some Crit Chance, which is interesting. Minus 25% Igni Intensity. Eh, 
Okay, well, that's not great. 5% chance to chill is pretty cool, though. Always having that chance uh, to chill. Although the attacking power, I can't say it's like too fantastic. Uh, what what do we have on our current weapon here? Yeah, the Mastercrafted Silver Sword right here has 900 attack. And this guy only has 740. You know, it's, it's not great. What about this weapon? Same attack power as my Ophiri crossbow, but uh, it's got some flanking attack damage, less critical hit chance. <laughs> the Ophiri crossbow has 75% crit chance? That's crazy. Um, the counter attack damage bonus and the poise, yeah, that that really doesn't matter. And 400% uh, injury chance. Yeah, because he has the same attacking power but less critical hit chance, I think I would just forego this one. The Ophiri one just a lot better in this. Uh, at doing damage, I believe. Okay, so yeah, that's that's that. And um, Hyomar's side quest. I, I totally thought Artis, the, the priest guy with a staff, would be much stronger. Because I remember in Vanilla Witcher 3, that guy actually gave me a lot of trouble. Um, because he, he attacked really fast, and his attacks are very unparryable. And he had a lot of HP from what I remember. He didn't just die from like three of Hyomar's um, attacks. We barely even needed to attack him. Uh, so... Yeah, that's that's Artis, I guess. And we only had to fight one of the three Berserker Bears. The other two, I guess, they just escaped, maybe. Um, which is pretty bad for the future of Skellige because they might... Uh, seeing that Berna and Svanruga are both... Uh, it's much more the fault of Berna uh, than it is uh, Svanruga because Svanruga is more just like the puppet. Uh, even though he's supposed to be king, he's much that's more... Uh, he's much more like being controlled as opposed to, you know, making the real decisions. Bern Berna is a true mastermind, and yeah, she um, she gets to go free because we don't have, en we don't have enough evidence to convict her. Uh, had we gone with Ceres, we would have had enough evidence by just, like, looking through the castle. Uh, so, yeah, but we didn't go that path. Hyalmar gets all the glory, and uh, that's it. Oh, look at this. This guy. That's Drake, right? <laughs> Drake. I think it's Drake. Not Drake. D R A I G. I think that's his name. Uh, I don't. I don't remember. Anyway, so it seems like the people are already partying after the massive, like, massacre that just happened in these halls. Uh, a little too soon, guys. I think it's uh, maybe not time just yet. Who died in that uh, in that attack? I think Blue Boy Lugos died. Um, Donar's son died. Uh, Holger's son died. Yeah, a lot. Of, a lot of people's sons died. So basically, all the claimants to the Skelligan throne, except for Svanrige. You know, Svanrige is the only person who survived, who was um, who was. You know, in line to become the next ruler, uh, except for Sarah and Helmar, obviously, because they're the ones who try who are trying to solve this whole mystery. So yeah, that's another hint as to um, who the real uh, perpetrator is. So yeah. Anyways, so yeah, the next time we come back, we'll go do the coronation thing. Uh, see Hyalmar get uh, crowned as the King of Skellige, and there should be another side quest that we can do here in um, Skellige as well. As, as well, not a not a big one, but uh, yeah, we'll get to that in the next episode. So, thank you guys for watching this time. I'll see you in the next one.